Okay, so in question number one, we have a rock that's rolling down the hill toward a road when a driver passes uh, uh, by, first sees the rock traveling at seven and a half meters per second. So that's going to be our initial velocity. Okay, uh, when the rock reaches the road, it's traveling at 13 and a half meters per second. So that's our final velocity. Okay, and it tells us that the rock was accelerating down the hill at 4.4 meters per second squared. How long did the driver have to stop between when he first saw the rock and when the rock hits the road? Okay, so that's what we're looking for is the time. Okay, so give them one mark for their givens. Okay, so if they got givens written down, okay, identified, give them a mark for that. You give them a mark for choosing the correct formula. Since the quiz was entitled acceleration, that's really a gimme mark because we only have one acceleration formula. If they have it written like this, that is also fine, okay? Because that's truly how that formula looks, okay? Now, we have to manipulate this in order to get time by itself. So we're gonna multiply both sides by time and then divide both sides by A, all right? So if they have the manipulated formula, give them a mark. Then they gotta plug their numbers in correctly. 13 and a half, the final velocity, minus seven and a half, the initial velocity divided by the acceleration, 4.4. Give them a mark for that. And that should come out to 1.36 seconds. One mark, they gotta have units, okay? If they round it to 1.4, I'll accept that, but we generally have said two decimal places, okay? But if they round it to 1.4, that's fine. Okay, that one's out of five. Questions on number one. Question number two is tricky because it doesn't tell you the acceleration outright. It still tells you the acceleration because this thing would probably be falling where? Probably on, the on Earth, where the acceleration due to gravity is. 9.81 meters per second squared. That's what you got to get out of this. The other thing is that he drops it. And what speed do we start at if something is dropped? Zero, okay? So there's two there's two pieces of information that aren't outright given to you, okay? But are still kind of given to you in the question. All right, so give them a mark for givens, okay? For all of this. Give them a mark for picking the acceleration formula. A equals VF minus VI over T. Again, if they wrote delta V over delta T, that's fine, okay? Um, then we have to manipulate in order to get VF. So we're gonna multiply both sides by T and then we're gonna add VI, not that it matters because VI is zero. All right, so if they have this, you can give them a mark. They do not necessarily have to have the VI on there. If they just have A times T, that's also fine because VI was zero, all right? A mark for plugging in the numbers. Again, whether they have the zero there or not, it doesn't matter, okay? Uh, and then our final answer, 63.8 meters per second, make sure they got the meters per second and it's not meters per second squared, the units have to be right, okay, in order to get that mark. If, that's fine, yeah, if they didn't round, yeah, because I, I I said on the last slide, have two decimal places and then on this slide I have one. So 63.77 is also just fine, okay, they knew what they were doing if that's what they got. All right, that one's also out of five, whole quiz is out of 10. Please give them a mark out of 10. Let them see it. Pass it to the front of your row. Actually, no. I take that back. Bring them up to me and grab a Chromebook. 